Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Gianluca Masi speaking on the behalf of the Virtual Telescope Project. I'm very happy to be here to quickly show the Lucy spacecraft while leaving planet Earth after having a very close flyby early this morning. As clouds are just jumping into the sky, I just want to share with you the live images right away, just hoping that we are still on time and uh, this is uh, of course the system controlling the telescope i'm just asking to our system to slew to point the telescope where the lucy spacecraft is right now you can see not far from where we have the moon of course the telescope is in central italy about 90 kilometers south of rome and Gianluca Massi is speaking on the behalf of the virtual telescope project okay i just asked the telescope to point where the lucy spacecraft is supposed to be and now i ask our imaging device to start collecting light please keep in mind that this is a quite uh, an hard task for a number of reasons first of all because you can see very easily here that uh, where we are pointing the telescope that is where the lucy spacecraft is uh, right now is just a few degrees away from the moon so i can just expect a huge glare from our natural satellite so it is making very hard for us to spot this uh, probe as you know the lucy spacecraft had uh, its very close flyby earlier today when it was about 300 kilometers above the earth's surface and now of course after it used our heart as a gravitational uh, uh, just uh, tool to just increase to gain speed and uh, it is now just uh, uh, on its way leaving our planet and it will be back for another flyby in a couple of years and we are still imaging and uh, while i am speaking the lucy spacecraft is about uh, let me check the right distance right now friends but it would be yeah, i should be it should be about uh, two thirds of the average lunar distance so i just want to make sure to have the right numbers just doing some calculation i confirm that right now the lucy spacecraft is about 200 sorry it is 250 thousands kilometers from the center of the earth and living of course just waiting for the imaging to show here we have wow look this is very interesting because as you can see we have the clear effects of the lunar glare but here we are wow this is amazing friends look at this dot of light guess what that is the lucy spacecraft my friends and again the virtual telescope project made possible for you to spot something very unique this dot of light is the lucy spacecraft just leaving our planet after it was gravitationally assisted by the earth to increase its, its speed and improve its orbit on its journey to the jupiter trojan asteroids and uh, in a couple of years this probe will be back again for another support gravitational assistance by the heart i'm very proud that right now we are spotting in real time thanks to the virtual telescope project the lucy space mission this little probe despite the serious interference by the lunar glare and this is why you see this white ray on the left let's wait for this uh, 33 seconds more just uh, making sure if another image 
can be taken while I am speaking. I also know that clouds are moving in our sky, so I'm not sure if the new image will be good or not. We can just wait and see in about 10 seconds. But again, I'm very happy that we could see in this very first image the Lucy probe. While it is about 250,000 kilometers from the Earth center, still inside the lunar orbit, two-thirds of the lunar distance, while it is leaving our planet after it had its flyby more or less 12 years ago. The new image is clearly confirming and this is this dot of light as I say to you is the <coughs> sorry the, 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 the Lucy probe. Here it is friends. How happy I am that we can see this together. Once again the virtual telescope project promised to you something special and it is delivering what we promised to you right away. This dot of light is of course the Lucy space mission and uh, I'm always excited to share these kind of things. You are never sure if you will succeed until, of course, you try. And what we are seeing here, my friends, is uh, no less than the Lucy spacecraft. As you know, it is a very important uh, space mission. This is going to visit a few asteroids just moving on the Jupiter orbits. They are the Trojan asteroids just uh, in the Lagrangian L1, L2 points of the Jupiter Sun system and they are very precious to better understand the very origin of uh, our solar system so Lucy will really provide us with plenty of precious information to better understand what happened 5 billion years ago when everything in the solar system just started coming into play. And we are very proud and very happy that we could share with you live images, real-time images, my friends, of the Lucy probe. And you can see this dot of light is uh, just the probe. And the telescope is tracking at the expected motion of the probe. This is why the probe is looking at a sharp dot of light while just every star on the background is leaving a trail because we are tracking the probe not the stars that is uh, truly amazing to me and look again how beautiful is this to use technology to do this kind of things my friends <clears throat> The background is uh, quite irregular, as I said, because we are having plenty of uh, lunar glare, sorry, and we are also having uh, uh, several clouds just in that portion of the sky. I'm just waiting for the next image to come before, before just uh, closing this live feed. Let's wait for one minute more while we are imaging the Lucy probe. As I said, it is uh, about two thirds of the average lunar distance, that is about 250,000 kilometers from the center of the Earth. And the Virtual Telescope project, with its main robotic unit in central Italy, about 90 kilometers south of Rome, is bringing to you live images of this uh, small dot of light, my friends. Happy that uh, the technology is making possible for us to share this with you and this is why I want to thank the technological partners of the Virtual Telescope Project, Unitron Italian Instrument, Software BISC, Planewave Instruments, C-Web, Telescope Live and Santa Barbara Instruments Group. Let's wait for the new image and see what will happen, my friends. Here it is. How beautiful these images are. 
and uh, I hope that uh, this quick sight made possible for you to enjoy the experience to see in person, well, thanks to the technology, something you have heard about, that is uh, the Lucy spacecraft having its first flyby with our planet. This probe will visit a few Trojan asteroids and uh, in a couple of years it will be back for another second flyby just using the gravitational assistance by the Earth to just gain enough high energy to reach its final destination. Just waiting for another final image. I will be very happy to show you something more. <clears throat> and this dot of light here is just, as I said, the Lucy spacecraft. I cannot tell you how happy I am every time we succeed doing something special like that. Just to keep you up to date, in a few days the Virtual Telescope project will bring to you this, the partial solar eclipse we will see here in Europe. To learn more and join, just visit the virtualtelescope.au website and again for free you can have a look through our technological eyes to the upcoming partial solar eclipse. But we are waiting for 10 seconds more or less and then for a handful of further seconds to have the image just made available and see the Lucy spacecraft once again. Here it is my friends, happy again that we, had, we have a good image while the weather as I said is quickly, very quickly deteriorating so for me it's a joy to conclude this quick but very success, successful live feed and I really hope that you had at least some fun waiting for this live feed offered to you by the Virtual Telescope Project and quickly commented by astrophysicist Gianluca Masi from Brown. Keep in mind that every time something special is around the Virtual Telescope is sitting on the first row doing its best to bring the experience to you live just uh, inviting you to join from the comfort of your home i hope you had fun if you want you can support the virtual telescope project by donations for this visit the virtualtelescope.au website that's all friends keep looking up and again thank you for joining this live feed offered by the virtual telescope project